Welcome to Sculpture Studios, another one of our lockdown projects here that we're really pleased came our way. A giant flamingo, Keith to be precise, who is going to stand about two and a half metres tall for a new cocktail bar and restaurant called the Tipsy Teapot. There's something a little Alice in Wonderland about the whole theme of this project. Teapots, flamingos, and to be honest, trippiness of the novels is something that goes a little hand in hand with recreational drinking. So let's see if we can do this project justice. In terms of timing for this project, let's face it, we all know that 2020 was an absolute ball ache for businesses, but in some ways it also gave people time to get on with things they usually wouldn't have, silver lining and all that. During the space of the last year and a half, the Tipsy Teapot up in Kings Lynn has been pulling out all the stops to prepare itself for the end of the pandemic, and I'm telling you, people are going to be wanting their cocktails after all this is over. With long skinny legs, this flamingo is going to need a considerable amount of support, so here we're starting with a metalwork structure that Aidan's then going to clad with polystyrene to start the carving process. To protect the metalwork before we begin, Kevin's gone over the frame and heavy base plate with a red oxide paint. Blocks of polystyrene are then cut to appropriate sizes on the hot wire table to begin working around the structure. It takes a bit of working out to know what to cut out and allow for the metalwork inside and then everything is adhered together using a polyurethane expanding foam and then left to set. Here I am today about to carve a large flamingo for a pub type restaurant. Um, locked it all out in the polystyrene. And, it, and as you saw before, it's got a metal work frame through the hole in the centre. I'm going to be losing all these corners and then I'll use a wire brush to carve it down them and make its form. I'm using my trusty hot wire, simple little switch, turn it on, turn it off and it heats up. So this is the part that Adam really enjoys, and I think the carving is a fan favourite process as well. The wire brush is used to take the poly away, not quite as harsh as a nail brush, but the hot wire's already done the majority of the work. He's referring back to the concept artwork just to make sure he's staying on track, and when he's happy with the overall form, we'll send a few images to the clients to see what they think and get approval for the next part of the process. We've had a couple of lovely carving projects over the course of the last few videos, and once again I'm going to allow you guys to enjoy the work.
explain to me what's been happening here so far? Uh, so, so far we've covered it with... Then see again, and then hopefully we should have a good service. Then uh, start uh, car body, uh, not car body, um, prime up to prime it next and get and um, see what we've got left. Thank you very much. Yep. Carry on, sir. Wrong colour, Aiden. Ah, Liam, can you tell me what you're doing at the moment, please? So, we've already filled it once, covered it with a car body filler, and primed it. Uh, seen what we had, sanded it all back, filled it again, and covered it with the second colour, which was the white. And uh, we've still found more and more bits. They're very small holes, very tiny little bits, which you probably can't see on the camera, but going up close, you can see the little indents. So I'm going over again, but this time with a stopper filler, so it'll air dry, hopefully be a bit quicker. But going over all the tiny little dots, just to try and get it as good as we possibly can. So it's like as close to perfection as we can get. Thank you very much indeed. The tipsy teapot is all ready to go. I've just taken a little visit to site to make sure everything's ship shape and smooth sailing. We're about ready to go here at the studio to send Keith to his new home, so up to Norfolk he goes. At number nine on the Kings Lynn High Street, the tipsy teapot cafe, bar and restaurant is now open for business. This project was commissioned by Neil and Lisa the couple behind the conception and creation of the bar, and they've said that there's been people queuing up outside the doors practically since lockdown lifted. No doubt this is the buzz they were looking forward to now that businesses are allowed to open here in the UK. And for some places, particularly here at Sculpture Studios, just in the nick of time we think. We'd like to thank Neil and Lisa for approaching us with the creation of Mingo Keith, by which anyone visiting the venue is more than welcome to have a shot with him. By shot, I mean photographer. But hey, if you want a shot with Keith, you have a shot with Keith. This, this guy is crazy. He is game for anything. He will drink you under the table, I swear to God. And this guy's got his own hashtag set up and everything, so he's all prepped and ready to go. And there's also a cheeky little rumour on the breeze that suggests perhaps a couple of new openings in a couple of new locations, so let's see what that may have in store for us for the future. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and follow Aidan Hines Sculpture Studios on Instagram, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, these girls have got the idea. Yeah.